Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Best Sales Practices. I am your host, Andrew Bermudez. I am the co-founder and CEO of Digsy.ai. It's a sales development platform that helps you generate new sales opportunities in a way that's easy, effective, and fun. Uh, today we have a great topic, how to prospect when you don't have time. This is, especially for people who are independent contractors, this is definitely a uh, problem for a lot of people. So we're talking about residential real estate agents, we're talking about insurance agents, insurance brokers, we're talking about commercial real estate agents, we're talking about you know uh, many of these facets. Um, and also it could help out a lot of people who are in independent sales where you're commissioned, 100% uh, commissioned, but you need to do a lot of things that your time may not allow and you wanna be able to grow your income. With that being said, I'm gonna talk about two things that will let you exponentially increase your productivity and output at a very low cost. So what are we talking about? Now, if you've ever read a book called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, uh, he's actually grown his business through um, virtual assistants and different things. Now, there's a really great book in sales and it's actually one of the guys that helped uh, Salesforce.com grow their sales team and it's predictable, predictable revenue. I would highly encourage you buy that book yesterday. Uh, we'll have a link here at the bottom uh, so you can go uh, chase it down. But um, Salesforce uh, did struggle at the beginning in trying to grow their sales. So they had salespeople who were in charge of making cold calls, researching prospects, reaching out to them, etc. And then uh, in predictable revenue, what you find out is they rethought the way that they did business. And what they did is they basically created another extension and another position which would be in charge of looking at lists of potential targets, researching them, reaching out to them, and basically doing all the work and follow up to generate an appointment. So that lifted a huge, huge amount of demand on uh, their sales reps time. So these really critical and very, very important great closers were able to focus on closing, meeting prospects, getting them to turn around and buy the product. So what we're all guilty of in sales industry, especially when you're like an independent type uh, sales industry, like we mentioned in insurance, real estate, et cetera, um, is the fact that you eat what you kill. So you go out and spend a lot of time and energy prospecting. You end up uh, doing a lot of time and energy uh, following up. You end up doing a lot of time and energy making presentations, negotiating contracts, etc. So it's jack of all trades, master of none. Um, most people can't afford, uh, I don't want to say most people, but I would say, hey, look, if you're trying to be successful, you haven't gotten there yet. You may be a great salesperson making great income, but you want to be that million dollar sales rep. So, but in order to do that, you can't just create time. So what you have to be able to do is be at multiple places at once. So the way that um, I would follow Tim Ferriss and the predictable revenue is you can hire what's called a sales development rep. That term is very, very new to people outside of the technology industry where it's used a lot for software sales like ourselves. What's a sales development rep? So, and usually in insurance and commercial real estate and real estate, uh, they call them marketing assistants. Uh, but there really isn't a, a program uh, for this or a set in stone. And what a sales development rep, and keep in mind we make sales development software to help these sales development reps, is that they're in charge of going through your database, they're in charge of identifying who's a great target, who has you know, high square footage, or has a, you know, a big business, et cetera. And it doesn't take that much skill, even though it will when you get on the phone, et cetera, but there's a lot of stuff that you can start slowly, and as they learn, they get better and better and better. Now, there's a few ways that people do this. Um, you can actually hire somebody who's out of, just out of college. Uh, we all know that the job market's pretty tough. Uh, who has an interest in sales or marketing and bring them in. Uh, and then basically show them what you learn and uh, show them how to research prospects, look them up on LinkedIn, identify you know potential mutual contacts, reach out to them, keep in mind that if you link back to how many calls it takes to generate one sale, is that it takes between five to 12 contacts with the same prospect to be able to generate a sale. So 80% of sales is between five to 12 contacts and uh, only 10% of sales reps at an organization are doing this. So you want to be able to amplify your reach and your follow-up. 
this person can be in charge of that. Now, depending on the market you're in, you know, you can pay them just like out of school, you can pay them as an assistant, uh, you can gradually uh, increase your income, but there's also a dirty trick and you can actually, a lot of this stuff can be done via email, a lot of this stuff can be done you know, with a great English speaker. Uh, luckily because of the internet, it connects us all and um, for example, I've got somebody that I've hired uh, in, you know, out of the country in the Philippines who speaks great English and uh, you know, does a lot of this for me, goes into my database, goes, finds out who your mutual contacts are, then has an email address for me, <laughs> makes sure we sit down for about, you know, 30 minutes, go over to the list and go, yeah, I know that person, that person, that person, no, schedule a phone call for me on this one. And that person's able, I give them a, a different email address than mine, but it's, you know, my first initial last name at my domain and starts emailing these contacts and says, hey, you know, I know you know Charlie, or maybe I asked Charlie for a referral, but they're doing that and they're in charge of follow-up, they do a report, and because our, you know, our CRM or sales development platforms, a lot of these are web-based, we're able to see our progress in real time. And you won't believe what I pay this person. Um, this individual person I pay $6 an hour for, and they're exceptional. So, and you only need them a few hours a week because if you lob, uh, you know, a, an email to somebody or a phone call to somebody, uh, they don't all respond in time and you have to have a cadence where if they don't respond, you're able to follow up several days later or the next week, etc. You can't just cram, you know, um, eight to 12 follow-ups in a week and increase your sales. You have to have that time to develop uh, a cadence over time where you develop trust, you show tenacity, you show follow-up, you show that you're disciplined, etc. But once that is generated, this sales development rep, or if you want to call them a virtual assistant, can book an appointment on your calendar. And now that is how we amplify our time. Something that's low cost where we're leveraging uh, all of the resources we have across the world to do the things we don't have time to do. Um, in the description here, we're going to have a quick little you know, job posting and with some resources. Uh, I personally love Odesk, which is now called Upwork. You can have basically like who you're hiring, an SDR, and people can reply to you. And we're gonna have also, you know, basically just best practices on what you should look out for that's worked for us, may not work for everybody, to make sure that we hire the right person. So with that being said, thank you for attending here. Our uh, next episode is going to be on, uh, it's going to be specified to, or specifically for commercial real estate. And it's going to be about how to use social media to find uh, people who are actively in the market for your service and product. So it's got to do with commercial real estate, but that's just going to be an example. Um, it can definitely apply to a lot more people. So we'll be showing you that next week with some screenshots. And if you want to get notified, uh, you can either check this channel again next week or to make it even easier for you you can click the subscribe button here at the bottom please leave a like uh, that way other people will uh, also find us and we can share this great content with a lot of people so thank you very much go ahead and download the materials at the bottom and I hope you crush it at sales